Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be looking at charging on the go options for my micro quads. Back in the day, the only RC gear that you had to charge was your transmitter and receiver battery. The aircraft would be gas powered and therefore you could get a full day's flying off the same batteries. Things have moved on since then and virtually all gear is running off batteries including the power. I have been looking for a solution for charging my micro batteries in bulk when I am away from the house or a wall socket. Here is my solution. This is the Blitzwolf K3 power station sold by Banggood. Now I know some of you are asking why don't you just charge your lipos off your car battery using a hobby charger. Well my car is old and really it needs the battery replacing as well as everything else. But this device is going to help me there there too. This power bank, unlike any other, actually has a 3S battery inside which is able to provide up to 400 amps. This means it is capable of jump starting your car, in fact it is marketed as that. Because it's 12 volts we can also connect it to any charger if we have the right adapter. So let's talk about what you get in the package before I go into that. So it comes in this lovely blue case, as I say it is marketed as a device to keep in the car which is handy because this is where I will be keeping it as well. Of course we have the power bank which is bulky and it can take a beating with this protective case. We have the fused jump start leads, a micro USB lead for charging phones and tablets and in my opinion it's only weak point a 12 volt charger cable for the wall socket but also one that allows you to charge it from from your cigarette lighter in your car. I say weak point because I would have liked to have seen the option of charging through USB. I guess because it is a 3S this would have taken too long so they have left it out. I can live with this however. It takes around 3 hours to charge from the wall socket so I don't think I will be using the in-car charger. It could definitely drain my already sick car battery but might be useful charging through the cigarette lighter on a long journey while the alternator is powering everything. Let's talk about the features it has before I move on to how I am using it. It's got two USB power sockets, one at 1 amp and the other at 2.1 amps. It has got a flashlight on the front which also strobes if you need it to and of course I have already talked about its jump starting ability. It has a power indicator on the side when charging this flashes until it goes solid when it becomes fully charged. To power the device on you short press the button on the top and the power indicator will light up. If you long press the power button the LED torch will light up. Short presses after that will put the LED into two strobe speed settings and long press again will turn the light off. Interestingly the jump start sockets seem to be wired direct to the battery as you don't have to power the device up to use it. So be careful not to let any of the terminals touch each other once the jump starter cable is plugged in. This is what I am interested in. The jump start socket uses something called an EC5 connector. The connector type is used in the RC hobby and you can buy many adapters, XT60 and Dean's for example. I have made up this cable which takes an EC5 connector and converts it to a DC type connector. This is now going to connect direct into my Hobby Tiger one cell balance charger. It will allow me to charge six of my 750 milliamp nanotech batteries at the same time for my micro quads. It charges them at 500 milliamps each, so just under 1C, which is 3 amps in total. The battery claims to be 12,000 milliamps, so I should be able to get a lot of charges out of this and maybe charge my phone at the same time too. If you want to take it one further, you can actually connect this to a hobby charger. I don't quite have the correct adapter, but I can achieve this using the jump start leads. I'm not sure I will be using it in this way, but you never know. The device also has an overcharge and undercharge protection which is what you would expect from a device using a LiPo battery inside. So there you go, this is how I'm going to be charging my batteries whilst out in the car. It is also how I'm going to be getting my car running when it breaks down and I'm sure many people are going to be interested in that also. I have put the link in the description of everything used in this video. Thanks so much for watching, please continue to subscribe, cheers.